Today, we are going to take a look at Windows 7 Beta, Build 7000, and overall we are going to cover the new features introduced in Windows 7 as a whole, along with some of the minor changes that did not make it out of the beta. Perhaps one of the most exciting features introduced with Windows 7 is the new taskbar. It was easy to arrange and users could have one-click access to applications. This convenient list of operations and frequent tasks was known as the jump list. An interesting aesthetic feature, still used today, is the color-coded highlights in the Windows taskbar buttons. The buttons will automatically highlight with the dominant color of the application icon. Another new feature introduced was Arrow Peak, which allowed users to see previews of Windows grouped under one application icon in the taskbar. Arrow Peak also provided a close button for easy access to close windows. Windows 7 also introduced Arrow Snap. Dragging a window to the side of the screen would snap it in half of the resolution of the display. Dragging a window to the top of the screen would maximize it for full screen use. Shaking a window would automatically minimize all other inactive windows, and shaking the window again will restore them. This button was the Show Desktop button on Windows 7. Hovering over this icon will also provide a transparent look at your desktop. Windows 7 shipped with Internet Explorer 8, the beta used a beta version of IE8, and other updated applications included an update to Windows Media Player, and an update to Windows Media Center. The libraries introduced in Windows 7 offered easy access to certain file and folder types. Users could also add their own content to libraries, and they can create their own standalone libraries as well. The user account control introduced in Windows Vista was now more flexible with multiple user settings. Users could set how strict the UAC function. The configuration management and automation framework known as PowerShell was introduced with Windows 7. The glowing effect on the start menu orb was actually different in the beta. This sidebar interface provided access to common tasks and locations in applications like the control panel. Although it's still in Windows 7, the interface and the theme of it was changed from the beta compared to the final release. Since this was beta software, Microsoft included a Send Feedback button on most of the windows. A user could click the button and send some information to Microsoft, whether it was a compliment about something working great, or maybe there was a problem with the system that needed to be fixed. The gadgets functionality, like in Windows Vista, is on Windows 7. But by default, there is no constraining to a sidebar. Users could freely position the gadgets however they wanted. In the final release, Microsoft had many new sound schemes available. However, in the beta, only the Windows default sound effects were present. The Action Center, which replaced the Windows Security Center, provided users with information about security and maintenance in regards to their PC. For example, it would alert you if there was no security software, like antivirus software, installed on the computer. So there you have it, a quick tour of Windows 7 Build 7000. Revision is the Computer Clan's upcoming largest and most complex film to date. Fund it now on Indiegogo to help make this incredible film come to life. If you do choose to back this project, we promise you, you will not regret it.